Welcome to Making Tens. In this lesson I'm learning to use imaging to solve problems in addition and subtraction that involve 10 as one of the numbers. Let's imagine a student's got 7 blocks but they need 10 blocks. So I'm thinking 7 plus what would equal those 10 blocks? So to help me answer this question, you can see down here I've got a tens frame and some counters. And the first thing I need to do is put seven counters on my tens frame. So I'm going to start by moving all my counters onto the left hand side. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And now that that side's full, I'm coming over to the other side. That's six, and that's seven. Now the question says 7 plus how many would make 10? Well if I look at my tens frame, I can see that there's three gaps here. So that must mean I'd need three more counters. So 7 plus 3 equals 10. Let's try another question. Let's imagine I've got two colouring pencils, but I want to have 10. So I'm thinking 2 plus how much? will get me my 10 colouring in pencils. Well just like last time I'm going to use my tens frame to help me. And you can see I start with 2, so I need to put 2 counters onto my tens frame. So I'm starting on the bottom left hand side, there's 1 and there's 2. So now I'm thinking how many more counters would I need to fill this tens frame? Well I can see there's 3 spaces here and there's five spaces here. So in total, I'd need eight more counters to fill this. So two plus eight equals 10. Let's try a subtraction question. Let's imagine I've got 10 strawberries and I eat six of those strawberries. I want to work out how many strawberries do I have left? So if we go down to our tens frame here, you can see the first thing I'm going to need to do is fill this tens frame with counters so that I have 10. And now you can see that I need to take away 6. So I'm thinking about how I'm going to cover up 6 of these counters. So have a think about how I would do that in, or how you do that in your head. And I'm going to use some rectangles to help me. Alright, I'm going to use this rectangle over here to cover up 5 of the counters and this rectangle to cover up one more. So in total I'm covering up six counters. So when you look at the tens frame, you can see that there's four counters left. So 10 minus 6 equals 4. Let's try another one. Let's imagine I've got 10 tennis balls and I lose three of them. I want to work out how many tennis balls do I have left. Well down here I've got my tens frame and you can see I've already filled it up with 10 counters. So that's representing the 10 tennis balls. Now the question says that I lose 3. So I'm going to need to cover up 3 of these counters. So have a think about what that would look like in your head. Now I'm going to use this rectangle to help me show that. So I'm covering up 3 counters. So now you can see how many counters I've got left. I've got 5 over this side and 2 here, so in total I've got 7 counters. So 10 minus 3 equals 7. Let's try one last question. Let's imagine I've learned 6 spelling words, but I need to learn 10. So I'm thinking 6 plus how many more would equal the 10 spelling words that I have to learn. Well this time we're going to try and answer this question without using the tens frame. So what we need to do first of all is imagine a tens frame in our head and put six counters on it. So imagine what that would look like. Now think to yourself, how many more counters would I need to add to that tens frame so that the tens frame has got 10 counters on it? Try and imagine that in your head now. Well hopefully you'll imagine something like this. There's the tens frame, 
it's got six counters on it so you can see that it would need four more counters to make that tens frame full so six plus four equals ten well i hope you've found this lesson helpful for more help check out teachertools.co.nz